Welcome to I Love Stocks. Please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for future notifications. We're going to talk about a little watch list that we had and we're going to go over the spy right now. So let me look at the watch list here. Let me find it. There it is. It's the one we had yesterday. We're going to start off with a spy. We're definitely down here after hours, pre market at 352.20. Kind of looks like it's holding on. I got a support level right here at around 351.14 that needs to hold. 351.14. We have closed down, so we got to see if we're going to go ahead and go sideways and continue back up and break resistance of 356.07. I think we got a little pivot point in this channel right here, right around at 353.78. Let me go ahead and put that in here for now for later reference. 358. Right about, I'm saying right about there. That's going to be the resistance to break. That or pull back to a double bottom or even go down to these lower supports. Spy. Next one we're going to talk about is going to be ACB. We definitely had the pullback that I was counting for yesterday. We pulled back below the support level of 1149. Right now we're sitting down here at this. We're going to look at the 20 day. one step closer to legalization so that's what's so cool about that I got a low low support member right down here right around 796 but if we can hold this area right in here and that's gonna be right there at 927 I think we can go ahead and bounce on up and try to make a channel and raise the bar up on some of these pot plays but for right now low scenario a little under eight bucks we got that first support level right down here at 931 to 960 with a resistant bar to break at 1149. And that is ACB, Apple. Apple had a big pullback yesterday. Kind of counted on it. I wanted it to hold this 116.21 right now. We're at 114.15. On the 20 day, we just broke that 200. We can pull back to this trend line right here. I got this trend line on the one year. We'll show you from right here, right here, and right here. So I'm thinking we can hit the bottom of that trend line. And if you look at the one day, one minute, not the one day, but the 20, one hour, it's right down here, right around the 113. So if we go down another buck on this, I might start my position running back up to the 200 on the 20 day, and that's Apple. The next one is Tilray. Tilray had the pullback that we counted on. We kind of have a little support level right now. We have a head and shoulders. It needs to hold this 871. I called that 871 low support. I'd like to see that hold. If not, we'll pull back to the ascending triangle down here at 790 and start to bounce back up. We are starting to build a little channel right in here, and that's right now is between 871 and up here right around $11. Tilray. Baba. Bob's pulled back to a triple bottom. This is one you want to keep. We do have lower highs telling me that we could have another bounce back up here to right around the 298.30 level. So that's a good $15 bounce if she decides to go ahead and reverse up off this triple bottom. That's Baba. Tesla, next in line. We've had a nice little pullback to my little support here at 410 pre market. That's where I want it to hold. If not, at 410.61, we can get down here to the lower part of the channel. And it's just right around the 405, 406 area. Let's go ahead and round it off right there at 406. If this 409 does not hold, I'd like to see it hold. I got a pivot point right here, right around the 408.24. It's Tesla. Looks to me like it was getting ready to have a nice little breakout. We did find resistance right up in here. Keep that in mind for right now, right around that 450 area. I got a pivot point right at 420. Everybody knows that, follows me. That's my little red line right in here, right around the 420, 421 area. I'm gonna go ahead and dark that in. That's kind of like my little pivot point, which for now it's called a resistance because we broke down below that resistance level. So, like to see the 410 hold. If not, low scenario, 406 for strong buy, Tesla. Next one, Microsoft. Microsoft had that nice run. Now it's pulled back to a 50% retracement. Let's see if we can find that on here. That was 
right around here from that high we had on that. So let's look at the 20 day. 20 day can tell us a little story. I'm, I'm still bullish on Microsoft. We are definitely having a nice little sell off right now. And that 50% is right there, right around the 214 level. I still want to see Microsoft hold this area. It's a nice little pivot point if I'm looking at it correctly on the chart. Microsoft, right in there. So we can either go down, hit lower supports, or we can go back up and try to break resistance of right around 217.81. Next one we're going to talk about Jimia, J M I A. It had to pull back on the COVID news. Vaccine, I think, was real good news. I have to look at your trades differently now. We did have a nice little pullback to support level. I did have it here on this bar right around 1447 to 15. So if we pull back down to that support level, we could try to retrace back up and have a little channel make it. But I think um, we need to kind of refocus our portfolios right now into the new year. So that is Jamia. The next one we're going to talk about is CGC. Nice little pullback. We had support level right here, right around 2236. I really like this 2150 area. If we pull back there, I think we can start to bounce back up and break resistance of 2236. That's going to be 22, 20, just 2150 needs to hold. If not, we'll pull back to this lower support level at 2046 and use and treat these as resistance levels. CGC, NVDA. Nice little pullback yesterday. You see it had a beautiful breakout. We broke below that 50% retracement on the 20 day. We are starting to find some support level. I'm looking right down here, right around the 523 area maybe for a support level. That's on NVDA. And I want to turn that red because I'll be looking for that today for a reversal play. Like I said, play the pullbacks. If they pull back, yesterday was not a good day to be playing the pullbacks. We had a huge opening. Netflix bounced on up to that 490, hit that 420 level, double top, didn't want to break it, now it's pulled back below support at 468. This is another COVID play that has now turned sour on us. I think we can pull back a little bit more and try to find a new support. When I'm looking at a new support, I want to pull up a yearly chart, and that's going to be this area that needs to hold right in here. See, we've had the, the quad bottom. If this does not hold, the next support is going to be this right down here, this 454.68, and you can treat that solid. That's a yearly pivot point, and you can bounce it back up to the 468. So it's 454.68 to 468 if she decides to pull back and hit that 200. And that's going to be Netflix. Amazon's another great one to be watching right now. She did have a nice little pullback yesterday. Low support's going to be right under 3,000, right around 3,000. Let's go ahead and pull this up on the 20 day, see if we can get a better look on it. Remember that strong buy is right down in here. If we get down under below 3,000, load up for the retracement back up. That's what we did last time. Had a nice run. Now she's kind of pulled back to that little pivot point area on the 20 day. Actually, it's below support. And if we hit, and we're now we're right down here below this first support. See that that red line right after hours. That red line is, let me see here, we'll look at the three minute, that red line is, I can't see it, 381.05, so that was a major support level there, let's go to the 10 day, 30 minute, we had this inverse head and shoulders, and she bounced and broke out, now we've had a double top, and she failed, so if this doesn't hold and start to reverse, let's look at 30, 32.94, with a strong buy in this lower channel, below 3,000, about you know, 310, somewhere in here, in this area right in here. If we start to pull back a little bit more, that's the kind of day we're going to have. Cody, C-O-T-Y is another one that I really have a strong principle about. I think we can pull back to around a pivot point area of on this one. Looks like around the 50% retracement, but I'm going to say low support right around 376 needs to hold. And that's going to be uh, COTY, I'm bullish into Christmas. Christmas earnings are going to be powerful. Strong buy at 4, 343, first support at 376. 
resistance to break right up here right around the 459. I think we can get six bucks on COTY even higher. And CAT, same as COVID news, restructured bill. Uh, we got a Biden presidency, maybe. So they'll probably be wanting to work on that after they get some of their social stuff done. So I'm thinking right around this lower support, right around, oh, I don't know. Let's pull up the 20 day here and see if we can get a better look. Yeah, here's the 20 day support right here at 160, 169. So that's what we want to look for on the pullback, 161.69, and try to run it back up to the resistance level for a swing trade at 169.80. That's going to be cat. And that's it for the watch list today. Please subscribe, ring that bell. Uh, we also have that little Twitter link over here. We'd like for you to subscribe on it. Miss Vegas is always posting alerts in here on Twitter. As you can see, we've got them going. Bind, remember what happened to Bind yesterday? Be looking for a dead cat bounce on Bind after it finds a support level. But this is our little Twitter account, so if you want to hit that, that'd be great. We also have uh, stock twits, and we have our YouTube channel if you want to go back to uh, featured videos that we've done before. And we have a store if you like to order. And that is I Love Stocks.